Good morning. Today is March 21st, 2022, and I am doing my daily I Ching, I Ching practice. Today I will use the Paul O'Brien's Visionary I Ching to toss the coins, but I'm going to read, do something a little different. I'm going to read from um, both the Visionary I Ching and Wilhelm's so you can see the difference in what the different translations say. Now Wilhelm's translation of the I Ching was one of the first, or I think it was the first English transla translation, and it was translated in German. And Carl Jung used that translation in his practice It does have a very interesting history. Uh, Carl Jung also does a foreword in the Wilhelm's I Ching. So right now I'm taking three deep breaths. Now I'm throwing the coins. One, two, three, four, five, six. The first hexagram is 61, and it's called Centering in Truth in the Paul O'Brien's Visionary I Ching. And I have Two changing lines. So first I'll read the changing line in the Paul O'Brien. It says, Inner preparation brings success. Personal stability of character and a steadfast dedication to the truth that underlines every situation inevitably leads to good fortune. Relying on the perceptions of others is not possible in this context. You must learn to stand on your own, learn to be self-reliant, and learn to apply the power of knowing to make the right moves at the right time. So, in the Wilhelm translation, and let's look for 61. Uh, almost got it. 61. And in 61 in the Wilhelm, it is called Inner Truth. And changing line one. Being prepared brings good fortune. If there are secret designs, it is disquieting. The preparedness of the time at the beginning brings good fortune. The will has not yet changed. The character translated as prepared, this is the Wilhelm, um, what he has to say about it, originally meant the sacrifice offered on the day after a funeral, and from this it acquires the meaning of preparation. The character again quiet in disquieting really means the swallow. But from ancient times on, it has been used in combinations in the sense of an. Quiet. This line is strong and dependable, inwardly serene and prepared. Its will is not influenced from without. Secret designs are suggested by its relationship of correspondence in the sixth, in the fourth place. But in the hexagram of inner truth, no secret exclusive relationships occur. Okay. Changing line three, Impala Bryant says, The life of a person who looks to others for truth and purpose is like a ship tossing on the sea until the sea's anchors drop to the ocean floor. There will be no stability in the rolling waves. An untethered person is tossed to the heights of joy in one moment and to the depths of sorrow in the next. 
Inner truth must be rooted in your own perceptions and experience. At the gate of the palace of truth, each of us stands alone. Dare to know your own mind and speak it when the timing is right. Now, that was Changing Line 3 in Wilhelm. Wilhelm here is a much better book. Third place. He finds a comrade. Now he beats the drum and now he stops. Now he sobs. Now he sings. Now he beats the drum. Now he stops. The place is not appropriate. Drumming in ancient China was a signal for advance, a retreat, or a cessation of an attack. It was indicated by striking of a metal gong. This line stands in two nuclear trigrams, Chen the arousing and Ken keeping still. The alternation of sobbing and laughing is derived from the primary trigram and the nuclear trigram. Uh, let's see. 48 is the well. Um, I think in this this time I'll read 48 first. Now, I find Paul O'Brien's I Ching translation a little more accessible, but let me read what the uh, 48 in the Wilhelm is. He Excuse me, wrong page. All right. There's a lot of commentary in Wilhelm's. One does not drink the mud of the well. No animals come to an old well. One does not drink fr the mud mud of the well. It is too far down. No animals come to the well. Time forsakes it. Uh, let's go back here. The well. The town may be changed, but the well cannot be changed. It neither decreases nor increases. They come and go and draw from the well. It go in, if one goes down almost to the water and the rope does not go all the way or the jug break, it brings misfortune. And in Paul O'Brien's, in comparison, he says, Throughout all the cultures of the world, the well has served as a symbol for that which sustains life and provides a constant, inexhaustible source of nourishment. Human nature is basically the same. The passage of time cannot add to its dimensions or take anything away. Still, just as the well can be deepened to produce clear water, we can enrich our lives by delving deeply within to tap our essential natures and reach the source of spiritual nourishment. Beware of shallow thinking. Like a little learning, it can be dangerous. The image of the well suggests that going further within produces greater clarity be patient and you will penetrate your problems and your own nature as deeply as you can. Self-development is a key to reaching down to tap the clear water. If you do not lower your bucket into the depths, you are likely to come up empty. Remember, when greater depth is sought, lessening the speed of normal operations may be required. A shallow carelessness in the process of meeting deeper needs can be de self-defeating or even dangerous. Um, the well can be any source that you're dipping into. Sometimes it's health, sometimes it's knowledge, and sometimes it is spiritual. And if you don't use that well, which I think is what gets you can get from the Wilhelm, it becomes muddied and it becomes, it stops being nourishment. It's a matter of pumping every day, working every day, and doing the best that we can. Um, I think the well in the time 
Well, I know in um, my family, we had a well because the water lines did not make it to our house. And if the pump died, um, it was it was bad because that's what where we got all our drinking water all washed everything with. It was our lifeline. So think of the well as your lifeline and how you can keep that well primed and pumping what you need. So not a bad fortune. Actually it's it's a go forth and do the right thing. Go forth and maybe spend a little time and meditate and keep your life on a balance. You have a good day.